eventual leader election. He's Omega, and we are going to talk about eventual leader election. So there is a relationship between Omega, which is the eventual leader election, and the eventual perfect failure detector. So Diamond P weakens P by providing eventual accuracy. The same thing for um, a leader election. So Omega will weaken LE by providing eventual agreement. So that is easy. So what are the properties? It's the properties are very simple. You take the LE, you remove the local accuracy. That's not important. We are going to agree only eventually. And we use, we get the same property as eventual completeness, which every node trusts some correct node. And we get eventual agreement. To so say it, eventually, no two correct nodes will trust different correct nodes. Okay, so that's it. Mm. So let us look to the algorithm for eventual leader election. Again, we have one indication event or omega here. will just produce one event which is trust some process pi clearly done so the properties we said it's eventual completeness and eventual agreement so let us look now to the eventual leader election algorithm for a crash stop process abstraction and this is easy this can be obtained immediately directly from diamond p so and the basic idea you know each process will trust the node with the smallest rank among all nodes not suspected by p so that is, you just use diamond P. It will give you some information here. And here is omega. It suspects something. And you remove it away. If you trust something, then you add it again. And you continue doing that. But you always trust the smallest, uh, the process, the node with the smallest rank. Eventually, of course, there will be one correct process that will be trusted by all processes because Diamond P eventually, we are talking about a partially synchronous model, Diamond P will never after a while suspect a correct process. So here is the algorithm. We have our instance P, the instance Omega, uh, w, sorry, instance Diamond P. We have an initial list of suspected processes and an initial uh, leader which is unknown initially. So whenever you suspect a process, you add it to the suspected list. Whenever you restore a process, you remove it from the suspected list. And whenever your suspected list change, you choose always the leader with the mean rank and you trigger up a trust event. So this is more interesting uh, to define Omega for a crash recovery model. Uh, remember, in a crash recovery model, a process is correct if it does not crash or it crashes only a finite number of times. A process that 
crashes infinitely often is a failed process. It's not a correct process. Okay. So can we elect a recover process? The answer is that no, if it keeps crashing infinitely often. So the basic idea of a crash recovery um, algorithm for leader election, for omega leader election, eventual leader election, is basically try to elect a process or agree on a process that have crashed the fewest number of time, so the least number of time. Uh, so this is the basic idea. To do this, each process will have a counter that counts the number of time it has crashed epoch. This counter will be always stored in the persistent store and retrieved when a process recovers. When a process recovers, it distributes its identity periodically, but also sends the epoch, its epoch number with it. And the idea is simple, is that a process elects a leader with the lowest epoch and the rank of processes. So, if there are two processes with a low epoch number or the lowest epoch number, we'll choose the one with the lowest rank. The implementation is similar to the implementation of um, diamond P and omega for crash recovery. It just it has to keep piggybacking the epoch number with heartbeats, just telling that it is alive. And it has to store the epoch number upon recovery below the epoch number and increment it, and then broadcast it to everyone.